We're backstage at New York Fashion Week with Pamela Rowland, and what we're doing is we're really creating this really beautiful, sexy, sophisticated woman. I tell girls all the time, if you put a ponytail in your hair, depending on where the ponytail is, is what's going to evoke a sensibility. And if the higher the ponytail, the more cheerleader, right? The lower the ponytail, a little bit more sophisticated. So what we did with this particular ponytail is we put it right in the middle of the head. So she's a little bit of a mixture of both. The uh, inspiration for the look was modern Japanese architecture. Uh, Pamela and her family spent a lot of time in Tokyo this year, and you know she would send me pictures of some of the buildings, and they're amazing buildings. But how do you translate that onto the human face? So I cheated a little bit, and I went to the MoMA and saw the uh, the uh, Picasso exhibit, and nobody deconstructs a face better than he does. So I, you know, that was really seeing that exhibit was really what solidified it for me, and that I could use you know like the joining of two straight planes to create a little bit of an angle on the eye because that's really the only place that you know other than your cheekbones that that would be effective and I didn't want it to look costumey or you know I wanted it to be I wanted the girls to feel pretty Well, my inspiration for fall 2016 is futuristic buildings of Tokyo. I traveled there not long ago and I, I changed my whole inspiration because the buildings were it was so amazing to see these amazing futuristic modern buildings. And the beading we had, we were able to match up and I tell you, somebody that really knows Tokyo, they will look at some of the dresses and say, wow, that's a such and such building because it was just something that was so, when I, when I sent the pictures back to my design team, they said, this is it, we gotta do this. Very sleek, really that's how I like to dress more, like straight, but I mean, you'll say, well, sleek, but there's a lot of beading, which our customer likes, because we, we do specialize in gowns. So nothing to, there's no ruffles or anything, it's very sleek. I'm not trendy, but you have to be somewhat. So I don't think my customer is very trendy. Um, and they are of all ages, really. We, we, we um, dress the daughters, we dress the grandmothers. I do brides, you know, it's, it's interesting, we have a secondary line too now, and not just this high-end line, so we just have all ages, and, and again, I would say that it's not, it's not a real trendy line. Pamela Rowland, you know, really beautiful dresses. She had one of my favorite looks of the season, and it was a real surprise. A silver fringe jacket that was just so unbelievably cool and a little bit shocking because you didn't expect that from Pamela Rowland, who's a little more sophisticated. But that look was really, it's going to be one of my favorite looks of the week. She knows her customer, and I think that that's important. So the woman that's gonna wear these clothes is smart, she's elegant, she's not looking to be overtly sexual, but they're very seductive and sensual at the same time. So it's a very smart collection. some gorgeous coats with fur pieces on them, especially with this cold weather. 
I mean, I mean, if somebody could buy one today, they'd probably say, I want that coat right now. You know, she knows about fashion, but um, she knows she likes more of a clean line. I think like New Yorkers are, are really dress sleek like this, but I have women in Houston and I know right away what they're gonna pick out of this collection. So I have customers from all over the world that there's gonna be something in this collection they're gonna like.